first scenario outside was was paralyzing for a couple of seconds. Draw your weapon! Draw your weapon! Ski! Good! Back up! Back up! Back up! Come to me! Come to me! The person didn't give me a chance to introduce myself, to say, this is why I pulled you over. None of that. When an officer fires their service weapon, reporters request video of the incident to paint a better picture of what happened. Today, we took five local journalist teams through force on force training where they learned the answers aren't always so clear. I know. So just get away from me. Okay, ma'am. I don't need you to calm down. And things that you're going to second guess, but while other people have hours and days and weeks to review body cam footage and dash cam footage, you have to make that decision right then, right there, and you go with your gut and you do what you think will get you home at night. Using laser simulations and live action scenarios, the teams encountered situations our deputies have been in. There, they had to make split second decisions that they called eye opening. I think we have a certain perspective and we're the ones that have to observe and kind of gather all the facts after the fact. From unruly citizens to passerby trying to film them, they felt what it was like to wear a badge in today's society. What did I do, officer, huh? What did yeah, I do? what did he do? Huh? Yeah. You got out of your car, you need to stay in your car. We rarely hear from officers after a shooting happens because of a whole host of reasons, but I just think this gave me kind of the perspective um, that I needed to even, you know, more fairly report on these kinds of things. Despite their different reactions, the journalists agreed you can't fully judge another person's response until you put yourself in their shoes. I think a lot of people should take these things into consideration that it is a split second and you know you you can say you know I would have done this or I would have done that but until you're in that situation you you never know. For the Lexington County Sheriff's Department, I'm Colby Gallagher.